I think it's critical that the uh, policy framework for towns is brought up to speed and refreshed, uh, particularly given that we've come through uh, a devastating pandemic. Uh, that has changed the way people live, how they get educated, how they work, how they travel. It's changed everything, basically. So to refresh that, also with the climate emergency, I think, again, it's critical that we rethink our town centres and our urban spaces to start delivering towards net zero. So to be honest, COVID presented the ideal opportunity just to take that time to reflect and to update and refresh and then to move on with the action plan. We have a combination of the traditional or existing problems that have been in play for maybe 20, 30 years. We hollowed out our town centres and people didn't live there anymore. Then the investment in retail through the 80s and 90s created too big a retail footprint now as behaviours have shifted to edge of town, destination, online retail. So the retail model and the changes and the pace of change has been very destructive in terms of our town centres. Then we have COVID and that has changed everything in terms of how people move about the economy, how they engage with their workplace and education. And to be honest, it's actually had a beneficial effect for towns as people are actually at home more and they can engage with their local economies more. Uh, but moving forward, we also have to think about net zero and climate and think of our towns as national infrastructure. And if we make the right investments in our town centres, then again, we can address some of those bigger problems about uh, net zero, etc. I suppose necessity is the, um, the mother of invention and the pandemic in particular has changed everything basically in society and that has led to people to innovate to be more creative around solutions so whether it's virtual high streets digital high streets whether it's green delivery infrastructure to get goods and services out to local communities we're also seeing 20 minute neighborhood concept being developed we're also in dialogue about how we repurpose a lot of the existing urban footprint, you know, the shopping centres that are no longer required. We've maybe got a town with two shopping centres that can only sustain one. So the creativity around that is what can we put into that other shopping centre? Can we deal with the housing crisis by putting in some residential accommodation? Can we put in hubs where organisations can uh, be multifaceted and offer a whole range of things? But uh, at the end of that, that will increase footfall and consumption and community in the heart of our towns. And I think if one thing has shown us, the imagination and creativity of Scottish people through pandemic has been outstanding. It's been amazing. We've seen all of this new invention and people just rolling up their sleeves. So moving forward out of pandemic and hitting the climate emergency, I'm really optimistic that we will continue to see that type of innovation. As our world becomes smaller post-COVID and because of the need to reduce our carbon footprint with the climate emergency, localism is going to become a key feature in recovery. And that also links into sustainability. So the delivery mechanism in many places would be your business improvement district. The collaboration of all of the businesses in that area coming together to co-invest in their future. In addition, we are trying to bring in the community sector to play and the, the wider public sector stakeholders and private sector investment, but using the business improvement district as a means of drawing all of that together. So I've, I've seen lots of resilience, I've seen lots of recovery, we see growth in the business improvement district sector, renewed interest, so there's a lot of emerging projects across the country. So I do think that we need to embrace the business improvement district concept more aggressively to see more of these uh, structures evolve to support their local towns and city centres. The 20 minute neighbourhood concept is, is it's not new, it's a rebadging of sustainable urban development. It is a bit of a buzzword just now. Uh, realistically, I think it is the right thing to do if we live in more densely populated urban settlements, less urban sprawl in terms of housing development, uh, the sharing of assets within a local community, the remodeling of buildings, etc. I think having the ability to access work, education, leisure, community, all within that 20 minute neighborhood reach is definitely the future. And a lot of our towns already operate as 20 minute neighborhoods. I think there's a wee bit of anxiety that do we have to build something new? By and large, it's, it's remodelling and retweaking what we've already got and giving it a renewed focus. So I would say, given, given the understanding that we have to change our behaviours dramatically, mainly around climate, I think the 20 minute neighbourhood is definitely going to be a success. It's really critical that our policy framework for towns is, is revised, refreshed, renewed. Uh, we're seeing with post-COVID environment and with climate emergency, the need to be just more radical in our thinking. 
Our town centres are critical. They're basically the beating heart of our communities. Scotland is a nation of towns, so we really do need to have that policy focus. So it's a perfect opportunity to renew, to think about our changing demographic, to think about new housing models. So I, I really welcome the, the launch of the action plan. Towns are facing a number of challenges. Uh, traditional challenges, historically we have depopulated, people have moved out of town, they don't live anymore. Uh, there's been an over-provision of retail, uh, drift to online, to edge of town, to d retail destinations. And I think the pandemic has actually compounded a lot of issues in terms of people's behaviour. We also have net zero in the climate emergency to consider. So there are a lot of problems, but there are also a lot of solutions to actually improve that. And that's why I think the launch of the Town Centre Action Plan is very timely. The pandemic has created a lot of invention, innovation, creativity in our towns. People have had to respond in difficult circumstances, they've had to pivot, they've had to be flexible. So we're starting to see that embed in terms of behaviour, uh, repopulation, taking on existing assets, remodelling them, making them into different things, looking at wider collaboration in the 20 minute neighbourhood, etc. So yes, I'm seeing a lot of invention and I think that will continue. Bids are local delivery mechanisms and I think the world is going to become much more local. With the climate emergency, people will have to be much more sustainable in how they engage with their lives, whether that's economic engagement, education, travel. And the bids are a perfect mechanism because it builds on that hyperlocal knowledge and hyperlocal infrastructure and collaboration. So these guys know what's needed. They know who are the people who can provide the answers. And I think bids will become much more prevalent as we move forward. The 20 minute neighbourhood concept is it's, it's something that we're going to have to do. Uh, we are seeing a return to localism. We have to reduce our carbon footprint. We need more densely populated settlements. And if we can get to that end goal of having your leisure, your work, your education, your community, all within that 20 minute neighbourhood reach, then obviously that's utopia and we've got there.